Howdy folks, today let's talk about the XSL-X1 in-ear monitor. Um, right away, the only reason that I have this in my hands is because HiFry, uh, you guys can go look him up on Facebook and YouTube, HiFry Audio, uh, was given the original Dark Magicians and also a pair of these to take apart and check the drivers out. And at that point, it was known that this IEM has the same driver, or I'm pretty sure it's the same driver as the original Dark Magician. So I uh, had a friend send me these. Thank you, Ratchet, for sending me these to check out. Put them in my ears, and um, they have a very muddy, bassy tonality with not wonderful sparkles or treble out of the box, so to speak. And, um, but in the background, I could hear pretty sure that what was the magic of the original Dark Magician, uh, uh, obscured and occluded by all of that bass and just poor tuning, essentially. So I wasn't sure exactly what it might take to make this into the Dark Magician itself. There's some internal differences in terms of the way the driver is mounted in this compared to the original Dark Magician shell. But um, I will say this, that this shell is actually really nice and ergonomic. It's made of aluminum, it's not heavy, and um, it's not that ugly. I like it. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, fits me very well. Bores are like the correct length, not too wide, all that sort of stuff. They're, um, the dampers I stuck on this are not 5mm. I think they're like 4.8, just to mention that. So I did retune this after listening to it and almost making a video shitting all over it. But... Uh, as soon as I tried to match the frequency response of this to the original Dark Magician, then it all became clear that this thing is absolutely incredible. The way I had to do that was actually micro-needling the front vent right here. So that means I got to get this on microscope, zoom way in, and use um, like a cactus needle or an insulin needle or something really tiny to poke the vent in a bunch of different places, the, the damper inside the vent. And... It's really hard to do, and the reason for that is because if I get this, let's see here, that is a breakdown on the right is the original Dark Magician, on the left is the XSLX1. I keep wanting to say XL, uh, you know. <laughs> um, anyways, what happens on this is that if you see down here, the driver cover is like, it's basically rounded off. And so what ends up happening is the way this is mounted inside the shell, right under the front vent is the shell um, cover. And so you can't poke through the vent like a typical thing, a typical in-ear, because I'm basically poking right into this like brass shell and there's very little space. It's probably a millimeter or less. So I had to go in kind of at the sides and kind of tear it a little bit, it sucked. It took me nearly two hours to get the base shelf uh, correctly to where the Dark Magician 1 was. And so what ends up happening is they tuned in to this guy about, let's say, 10 decibels of bass compared to the um, mid range, say around five to 600 hertz. And so what I did was I decreased that down to about two to three. And so what happens is that vents that bass out this and you know as this is in your ear you can actually feel a little bit of tactile feedback coming out that guy hitting your ear and it is incredible so at the end of this i got the stage and the mids just about on the money to the original dark magician and then the bass itself is just better it's got more bass but it's being vented into the ear and then it's got the correct shelf for the driver. Um, I'll just say this, this driver wants a low base shelf around say three decibels uh, compared to mids. And then uh, the mid shelf, I have this uh, graph, but I didn't pull it up right now. And also because this is something that I'm going to, but you'll, you'll see where I'm going with this. Um, so the mid range is about 7.5 decibels that the uh, pinna hump and then the treble is a very even slope down from that into the high trebles. 
you know, it's kind of a standard thing, but it's not a 10 decibel mid shelf, and it's also not going to have like eight or 10 decibels of bass. It has three. So having said all of that, this thing is mind-blowingly good. I just shit my pants entirely once I got the base shelf right. Um, it's got a 400 value damper. I'm not 100% sure what the stock one was, maybe a 450 or 500. It seems like it was a higher value, but I, I think a 400 is a really good place for this. Uh, that gives you, the, like I said, about 7.5 decibels of mid-shelf, uh, or sorry, um, pin again. Um, and this blew me away to the point where I basically shit my pants. It's like one of the best things I've ever heard. I think I like it better than the original Dark Magician because the bass is more palpable. It's just more, but in a really nice way because it's being vented out the shell. Um, so much. The driver has less pushback and thus can um, achieve, I believe, a higher resolution overall because it's floating more freely and able to move more freely because it can vent. Um, and there's no uh, well, less pushback uh, from the closed acoustic system as you shove this in your ear. And this is one of the reasons um, why this is so special. I call it sort of the fat earth treatment, which really came from the um, twilight, softer's twilight, which is to say I saw that Twilight was venting a ginormous amount of sound out the front of the shell and figured, well, I should probably emulate that without even having heard that. So that was Fat Earth Project. Um, that ended up, the, the balance left to right was no good on the, the drivers weren't well matched, but I got to hear what that sounded like. Then I got me a Twilight, and then this appeared, and I figured, well, let's just do the same kind of thing, right, with the vent. And Jesus, man, the stage just goes boom. I think my official position on this is when you're venting a bunch of bass out that vent. And you got to do this right so that you have enough bass. It's, you know, got the organic bottom end going on, but also is not too much to bloat and interfere with the mids. And with a dynamic driver, that's an absolute thing that can happen. So uh, speaking of the driver, I've just got some metrics here. Uh, let's see, I'll just rattle it off. 10.2 millimeter driver, although I think it's possible they talked about the size of the driver um, and threw in the 0.2 to throw people off the trail. I think according to Fat Goblin, who's in my chat room, these fit a 10 millimeter shell, which is like, huh, okay, interesting. So I've been able to find this like retail, the driver on Alley, or I've been looking around a little bit, but um, it also says that it's a, well, the original um, Dark Magician says it's a carbon nanotube diaphragm. Um, and from all I know, carbon is like black or darker or something. Um, and this clearly on the picture is not that uh, dark. It's more like an LCP clearish. I don't know. I'm just mentioning that because it, it's a little bit suspect there. Um, but those are the drivers. There's the Dark Magician on the right, um, the XSL X1 on the left. Um, so those are the drivers, um, but you know, whatever they are, doesn't matter. They sound fucking incredible. These drivers are amazing. That's my official position on that. Um, and, uh, they're tuned out of the box like crap, really. I mean, you can hear a little bit of the mojo, but not a lot of it. And unfortunately that means I can't recommend these out of the box. If you were to buy these, you would absolutely have to modify them to get the goods, but the goods are incredible. So. The goods being 400 value uh, damper on the front bore right there, and then we may need to micro needle that vent, removing about seven decibels of bass, leaving us with about three. And you gotta do that very carefully. If you go too far, you went too far. <laughs> you can put some stuff in the vent, but you gotta be careful about how that works. So, man, uh, these things are just blowing me the fuck away. It's ridiculous how good these are. For the price on Alley of, let's see, I pulled it up. $53.90. Holy shit. I got in contact with the company and asked them, hey man, can I buy these um, naked, like not glued together so I can do my own tuning? And they basically, I think what's in Chinese is a translator. I think they said, I need to wait for this, the next batch before I can order them. I'm going to get back with them though and see what if I could figure that out. So, you know, stock format, not, not, not great really, but my God, after these are modified, they're like one of the best, not just dynamic drivers, one of the best headphones I've ever heard. The stage is so incredibly 3D. It flips me out. The bass is just phenomenal, extended, holy shit, resonant. Uh, it's like ghost bass. It seems to come from around you, not from inside your ears. And the treble is micro details and 
just all of that just gorgeous glorious amazingness stage is ultra wide and wraps around the back of your head and it's just everything i want to hear out of a headphone and like holy shit how to put this on video i'm going to send this back to ratchet who sent me these um i think he wasn't expecting much he probably thought i was going to smash him on video which i was but no 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 the driver is worth messing with so if anyone has um an inkling to start modifying this is like probably one of the best sets you could probably try that on i didn't try and pull the back of the shell open because honestly the base shelf is perfect it just needs that vent to be modified so if I were to get these myself and modify them um, without having to open the shell, they'd have a different front, uh, front vent value, probably around a 350 is what I'm guessing. I'd have to get that uh, and measure it. And then I think the 400 for the damper on the front is about proper. And it's like about a, let's see, 4.8 millimeter, I think is what it's supposed to be. I stuck a five on there and just made it work because that's what I had. But uh, holy shit, man. Holy shit. Top recommendations I could ever possibly give, but you got to modify it right on. And I will talk to you later.